Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Look at Slash First Impressions Sanctum 2. This is a first person shooter tower defense game and if that sounds a little odd, it is a little odd. I'm just going to get into it. I, I have mixed feelings about this game to the point where I really like it but there are some things that I went in expecting, and that isn't the case. So, hopefully, I can uh, articulate this well enough to convey those things so that you don't get into the same position. There are four classes. There's really no name for them. Sky Autumn, Sweet Autumn, Simo, and Hagen Hawkins. To put this in a MMO kind of sense, Hagen Hawkins is our tank. Simo is our sniper. Sweet Autumn is our area of effect DPS. And Sky Autumn... It's kind of concentrated DPS. They're, I mean, they're all DPS, so... Sky Autumn is really mobile. She gets a double jump. And has her assault rifle, which is really cool. Simo's the only class I haven't played with. And I, I think, actually, we'll go in with him. Yes. So, here's our character select screen. And I'm going to change my skin because I like that a lot. Uh, so, he gets a sniper rifle. I have not used it yet. And we're going to put the battle rifle. You can obviously change your weapon loadout, which I think is really cool. And... At the same time, a little quirky, and I'll get to that. We can choose our tower, so we're going to choose our Gatling Tower, a Lightning Tower, which is kind of AoE, and the Area Mine. We unlock more tower slots and more towers by our rank. I'm rank 5, so I have three towers. I've unlocked, like, five towers. We also unlock perks by our rank. I'm actually going to go with our Hollow Point Rounds. It's basically a critical attack. So, without further ado, I think we're just going to get into this. Charged time to kill. So, I like the aesthetic. I... My, my, my complaints are this. As you guys saw, I picked up some things, which were the credits and our tower bases. The tower base will allow us to block off enemy movement, which it's basically like a wall, which I think is pretty cool. My, my first complaint is that this is a multiplayer game as well as a single player game. And you only get one drop of tower bases, and it's usually a number of two or three, and one drop of ammo slash currency, whatever you want to call it, which is to build the towers. If you have a teammate who isn't particularly feeling like being a teammate, you are SOL. Which then goes into my next, and my only other problem with this game is that I went expe in expecting this to be more tower defense-y than it is. There, maybe it's just because I'm on the lower levels, but it doesn't really have a lot of power defense. I have no idea what that was. So, the other thing, the quirky part that I was talking about is, obviously we have our first person shooter aspect. And you will see me changing out my gun, and that's because... We have no other option. The way you play this game is actually by changing out your gun as often as possible. This guy has a really short jump. Keep that in mind. I did not. I just noticed that his sh jump is actually shorter than not just not just Sky Autumn or Summer Autumn or whatever her name is. The the first character who gets a double jump, but uh, this is shorter than all three other characters. So keep that in mind when playing him. So we're making basically making a kill box. They're all going to walk through that. They'll be screwed over and we'll have a lot of fun. I don't know what the secondary fire is. I think it's an AoE attack, but I, I'm not exactly sure. So he seems like... Oh yeah, and uh, the sniper rifle actually pierces en enemies and I like that. But all the classes have been so far pretty fun to play. I really don't have anything else to say about that. They've they've all had their unique feel, and I kind of enjoy that, so. Okay, just go over. Thank you. So yeah, as I said, you only get one drop. I, you know, there's not much more for me to say about this game. I like the music, which you probably can't hear because I've, I've cranked it down way low because there's really no... That, that, I guess that's a secondary complaint. The, the sound control in this game is... Eh, not so great. It's either super really loud or super really not loud. So we're just gonna go. Defensive mode activated. 
I don't know what the secondary mode is, and that's unfortunate. I wish I did. Because I'm using it, and that's, you know, kind of foolish of me. So, this game really rewards you for using everything you have as fast and as much as possible. And, as I said, that, that's, a, that's a quirk that I really like, but at the same time, I... It's kind of making me not know how to feel about this game. Not enough resources. What do you mean, not enough resources? You crazy robotic person, you. So this is our core. This is obviously where they're trying to get to. Uh, I'm not going to let them get to it <laughs> to demonstrate what happens, but they'll beat on it for a little while. In that regard, this is a very traditional tower defense game. And... Again, that's not necessarily a problem. I like. I I like traditional tower defense games. I I am a big fan of the tower defense genre, in fact. So yeah, it seems like that's just a far range attack. I have no idea. I probably could have read it. I really like the attack animations that the enemies have. I like the enemy attack patterns. They're all pretty cool. It's it's kind of like Orcs Must Die 2 in the, the effect that you are dependent on the class that the quote unquote class that you're playing that uh, depends on determines what you can carry and stuff and I like that as well it gives you know some uniqueness to the whole tower defense slash multiplayer aspect of it and that's really cool. We also have some allies in the back which you haven't been seeing because they're complete and utter crap. And I've just kind of been ignoring them because, again, they are utter garbage. So we're going to make our maze. We really don't need to make it nearly this far. But yeah, we can only, we can either upgrade a tower, maybe, usually, sometimes not even upgrade a tower in, after one round. Sometimes you don't even get to do is that. Which is unfortunate. I wish I had a zoom. That's what I wish I had with this cl class. So these are soakers. They're kind of unique to Sanctum. I've not, at least I've not seen them in the fairly extensive uh, tower defense genre that I've played. I've, I've played tons of tower defense games, and they're kind of like a boss mob that they're just kind of there to absorb as much damage as you can throw at them. And I think that's a cool mechanic. I hate them for that, but I, at the same time, I think that's really cool. So there are also weak spots. Those are the obviously the glowing things, and that's obviously what this class is excelling at, is hitting those weak spots. Whereas Sky, Autumn, and her sister, whatever their names are, are kind of more AoE spread damage. And I don't, you know, I don't really know if I need to put down anything. So, again, I really wish I had some, some zoom. The glowing yellow things are the weak spots. And I, that's pretty neat. Obviously, this character excels at accuracy. And it's nice to have a class like that, to be completely honest with you. I really would like to do some multiplayer in this, and... I may off camera because I don't want to and kind of showcasing what you're not supposed to do I kind of let my ammo run out but at the same time it doesn't really matter with this class because we actually just kicked ass without really needing to do anything so there you guys go so initial impressions first look at review I, and that's actually a really cool movement. That's really neat. Anyway, so yeah, Sanctum 2. Total win. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching.